Hey guys, um, so uh, it's me G2 and I've kept my powder dry and my gun in my holster for a, a couple of months now, but it's time for me to lay this out for everybody and, and for all of you who are listening or who will share this live stream uh, to really become engaged. I'm going to give you a little backstory first. Well, before I begin, you saw the title, FHFA, the Federal Finance Housing Agency, is poised to create a problem for veterans, where the, where the FHFA will demand, require, of all veteran applic loan applicants to sign an incomplete and undisclosed mortgage loan application. Now, for any of you who are real estate agents or lenders, if any one of you would ever have your client sign a blank document, um, you probably don't belong in the business. And I know that everybody listening to this and watching this, and even the consumers, would never, ever sign a blank mortgage document or an incomplete mortgage document, or an unfully disclosed mortgage document. Uh, I'm going to also, uh, in the feed of this, I will post a link to an article that was written about this very problem. But I need as many people as possible to really engage on this and reach out to their senators, their congressmen, their mayors, uh, everybody possible, and, and fully understand that we need to stop FHFA from launching this form. Now, a little backstory. The, the VA loan is uh, over three quarters of a century old. It, 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 was, it was created in 1944 with the GI Bill. And for all that time, there has never been a requirement by any loan officer to ask the loan applicant if he or she has ever served in armed forces. And why is that important? It's because of one of th this very, very important reason. All of us who have loan application, uh, have mortgages, all of us who have mortgages, of that group of veterans who have mortgages, less than 12% of us have VA mortgages. Now that seems a little odd, right? Out of uh, the thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of us who have home mortgages, less than 12% of us have loan mortgages. Why is that? Two reasons. Well, three, unless the loan applicant self-identifies, hey, I'm a veteran, um, there's a good chance that, that the loan officer is not going to discuss the VA loan with them. That's sad in and of itself. Less than 12% of us have a VA loan on our home. We have other types of loans. Why is that? It's because the majority of lenders, the majority of lenders, and this will sting my, my lender family that listening to this, but the majority of lenders um, who are not predisposed to work with veterans will steer the veteran away from a VA loan product, alleging that it's an easier thing to do uh, another type of product, alleging that the VA loan is gonna come with some kind of messy a transaction um, a crash in, involved in it. It's all nonsense. It's nonsense, 100% nonsense. Sadly, in my own industry, in the real estate industry, our own ranks are terrible stewards of the VA loan. Terrible stewards. VA rep did a national study. We're about 8,000 strong, uh, seven, 8,000 strong across the United States. We did a survey a couple of years ago. We wanted to know how many listings that are actually put in the MLS are entered into the MLS as offer, being offered by um, uh, the seller for a veteran to look at? Less than half, less than 50% nationally, less than 50% of the listings entered into the MLS have the box checked and will sell to a veteran. The other problem is that many of um, my own rank will disparage the VA loan to a seller, alleging to the seller that it's going to be a problem transaction. They've had uh, problems with VA loans in the past. They've heard of horror stories, and those are all true, but those are 
in the minority, uh, and, and particularly in uh, just, a, just a footnote, April of last year, all these horror stories about VA appraisals are coming in short. They're, they're, um, uh, the, they had asked for too many repairs. It's all nonsense. In April of last year, the VA actually listened to these uh, these um, stories, and they they modified. They did a tremendously big modification to the VA loan process, uh, appraisal process. But setting all that aside for a minute, so less than twelve percent of us, less than twelve percent of the one percent of us who defend this country, one percent of us, one percent of us put on the uniform, agree to stand in front of a bullet for the nation, less than less than 12% of us who have mortgages do not have VA mortgages. You would think that, that, that the public would truly appreciate the fact that we put on the uniform and we're willing to take a bullet for the country. And yet, less than half of the listings entered into the MLS nationally are offered to veterans only 12% of the loan applicants who actually apply for a loan and take out a mortgage, less than 12% of them are VA, uh, uh, of, of that 100% group, less than 12% have VA mortgages. So what, what, what VA rep did, the organization that I'm the National Legislative Committee Chair for, what we did two years ago is we, we uh, approached um, FHFA and CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and we said, we need we need a little more a, a little more help with this process. So what we did was we got FHFA and CFPB to agree to make some changes to the loan application and specifically take a question, a very simple question. Have you ever served in the armed forces? Very simple question. And we and we successfully got that question entered onto the new loan application. The loan application is called the mortgage loan application. It's called a Fannie Mae Form 1003. It's called a URLA, Universal Residential um, Loan Application. It has many names, but essentially it's the form that the lender asks you to either fill out online or he or she takes your application over the phone or they mail you one and you fill it out. All of these names for the loan application. We got the question, entered onto the form. We had the form ready to go. That question was put at the very top of the form. Great place for it to be. They're forcing lenders to begin the dialogue with the applicant. Have you ever served? Has she or he or she ever served? So form was ready to go, ready to go in July of last year. Then the FHFA director uh, who, who took that uh, job over in April stopped the rollout of the form and made a lot of changes to the form that we had changed. And he took our military question, our military question, have you ever served, took it off of page one and stuck it at the bottom of the form. But not only did he stick it at the bottom of the form, he stuck it at the bottom of the form below the signature line, below the place you're gonna sign saying, I understand what I've just read. I understand what was just disclosed to me. Oh, by the way, we didn't tell you about this other stuff that's below the signature line. Right now, that form, is, that revision uh, is, is uh, poised to roll out in March. Now, I've got um, my team and I have convinced Congress, the Senate and the House, to send nasty grams over to FHFA explaining to them that, that they, uh, FHFA, need to explain why did you move the question, did you ever serve, from page one to below the signature line. So about a month ago, FHFA responded to Congress and said in a 300 page document or gave them an answer. And I spoke with uh, Congress uh, last week and they told me, bad answer, we don't accept it. So right now I'm in the process of stopping uh, the form from being rolled up. But what I really need, what I really, really, really need, what I really need is I need, I need the public I need everybody on this feed, everybody that, they, that will share this feed to everybody they know and, and, and reach out to your senators and congresswomen and, tell, uh, and congressmen and tell them that you do not want to be put in a position 
to sign an incomplete document. As a matter of fact, it's not just the military question that FHFA moved below the signature line. line. It's another piece of information that actually applies to, uh, to how the census uh, understands the makeup of our community, whether you're Hispanic or Asian or Caucasian or, or um, African American or some other nationality. That information is very, very important as loan applications being taken. And that question used to be above the signature line. It's been lumped into the same area down below the signature line, meaning that, that a lot of information that, that's supposed to be collected and disseminated so that fair and transparent uh, mortgage applications and mortgage uh, transactions uh, take place. It's all now been buried below the signature line. Now, the, some of the lenders are going to say, well, you know, they fill it, the lender, the borrower can fill it out online and he'll see it. The majority of loan applications are not done online by the consumer. The majority of loan applications are done by the lender who's on the phone with the applicant asking questions as he or she jumps around the form. And and if there's no requirement to see that military question at the top, they're going if they're not predisposed to work with, with veterans, they're going to set it aside and, not, and never ask it. So I really, really need everybody to jump. <laughs> I need you to share this video with as many people as you can. Ask them to share it with as many people as you can. I need to stop the FHFA from rolling this form out and disenfranchising hundreds of thousands of veterans and active duty uh, service members uh, during the mortgage loan application process. The, um, the, the, the problem that this is going to create is, is going gonna, is gonna to perpetuate the existing problem, which is 12% of us, less than 12% 12, 12 of us who have mortgages don't have VA mortgages. This is insane. It's driving me nuts. Um, I've been working on this uh, project for um, coming up on on eight months now, seven eight months, uh, and I'm going to be I'm, I'm I'm actually flying to Washington next month um, with um, the founder and co-founder and one of my co-chairs. Uh, we're going to be meeting with members of Congress um, uh, in in both consumer protection uh, subcommittees. We're gonna we're gonna meet with CFPB. Um, uh, I'm going to try to meet with FHFA. We need to put our military question back above the signature line, above the signature line, and preferably back to page one, because I'm entitled as a veteran to be able to discuss, to have a conversation about the kind of loan that I'm going, that I that I want to take uh, take out on my home. If you, the lending industry, disenfranchise me by never asking me that because you're not predisposed to work with veterans, then you're not you're not honoring my commitment to this country. Me and my 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 comrades, my brothers and sisters who put on the uniform to take a bullet for this country, and 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 how dare how dare the FHFA take that take that question and minimize it to something that we'll just maybe we'll get around to after you sign off on this loan application. That's freaking insane. And it's making me freaking nuts. As you can see, I'm extremely agitated about this right now. I've been, I've been holding my fire. I've been waiting for, to, to hear that FHFA was, 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 had, had, had grown a brain and, and actually understood why this question had to be put back on top of the signature line. They haven't yet. Today's Monday, today's Monday, we're at the end of February, uh, I heard early on that, uh, that FHFA wanted to roll this new revised, screwed up, screwed up uh, form uh, out uh, in March. I'm going to stop it, but I need your help to stop it. I need everybody's help to stop this from being rolled out. Um, FHFA should not be allowed to force anybody to sign a document that is undisclosed and incomplete. It's insane. It's absolutely flipping insane. So I've kind of flapped my jaw plenty. I um, apologize for getting a little bit wound up about this or spun up about this, but this, this makes me nuts. 
It should make you nuts. It should make every one of you absolutely freaking crazy that that a, a federal regulator would demand that you as a loan consumer, as an applicant, even if you're not a veteran, there's a section on there that's, that applies to non-veterans. And you're being asked to sign this document before it's ever fully disclosed to you. That's crazy. Would you sign a purchase contract before everything was signed on it? No. Would you sign your credit card application before you understood it? No. So why the heck would you sign a loan application before everything was disclosed to you? You wouldn't and you shouldn't. And you should make every effort to um, get this information uh, out to um, uh, every member of Congress, demand, demand that they tell FHFA to put the military question and the, it's called HUMDA, the HUMDA question back above the signature line. <clears throat> Military question is <clears throat> actually near and dear to me because, well, I'm a veteran and, and what, one, one uh, I think uh, uh, 1.4 million of us wear the uniform. 1.4 million of us wear, wear the uniform. That's less than 1% of this country who are willing to stand in front of a bullet for the nation. We're willing to take a bullet and FHA, FHFA has the gall to ask us to sign a blank, incomplete document. That's freaking nuts. It's absolutely insane. And everybody that's watching and listening to this has to have the same feeling. Nobody should, should be forced to sign an incomplete blank uh, or blank document. It's nuts. It's a mortgage document. You're going to take out a, a loan. Some of them are a quarter of a million, half a million or more uh, uh, for, for, for a loan. And I'm being asked and my, my, my military family is being asked to sign this thing before it's ever fully disclosed. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So please share this. Um, and and again, thank you for everybody that, that checked in. Um, I, I, I want to acknowledge everybody that uh, has looked at Watch this video right now. Greg Murray, thank you. Uh, Lois uh, uh, Kubalis, thank you. Stephen uh, DeMuth, thank you. Um, uh, our friends from the 21st Fighter Squadron, thank you very much. Susie, my, Susie, my, my cousin Susie, thank you. Randy Wren, thank you. Uh, uh, June McDonald, thank you. Um, Chad McLean, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. Um, uh, Chester, thank you very much. Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay Tester, thank you. Uh, Jeremy, thank you. Uh, Kevin Stewart, thank you very much for checking in. Maureen, I know I get a little bit spun up about this kind of stuff, but thank you. Dex, you're a machine, so make sure that you get this out to all of your friends. Uh, make sure everybody understands this. Tommy, Tommy Verado, thank you very much. You guys are absolutely, absolutely wonderful. We need to make sure that FHFA gets their head out of their keister and does not create a situation where they're forcing the 1% of us who wear the uniform are willing to take a bullet for this country and then we're being asked to sign a blank and incomplete loan application. That's flipping insane. So I'm done saying flipping insane. Um, I truly appreciate everybody that checked in. You guys have a great week. Um, I got a few more uh, things I got to do. I actually got to try and sell a couple of houses while I'm cooling down. Uh, again, thanks again, folks. You have a great weekend. Uh, again, I'm G2 Verado. I'm the National Legislative Committee Director for the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. I'm retired Air Force. I am a past um, honorary commander, uh, squadron commander of the 21st Fighter Squadron. Go gamblers, play to win. Thanks again, guys. Have a great one. See y'all in the next round. Hopefully I'll be a little more calm. I'll let you know how my meetings go in DC when I get back at the end of next month. Bye-bye.